Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Shoe Podcast, the only sneaker podcast that didn't come up with a tagline for this week. Uh, I'm your co-host, Ryan Landry. I'm your co-host, Tanya Young. That's Just, almost tagline. That Yeah, well, it, it works in that it doesn't. This is the first week, probably in a while, that I didn't think about until I hit that button that I was like, oh, I didn't come up with a tagline for us this week. And you know what? Hey, so sometimes you got it. Sometimes you don't. I still can't get over my floating head aesthetic that I've got yeah. going on over here. Yeah. So, you know, if you're obviously you're you're on the YouTube subscribed mm-hmm. watching this week's episode. So if you see me just staring down, um, <laughs> it's because I'm pretending that I'm green screened myself. Yeah, that's a good call out at the beginning of the episode. Thank you, everyone, so much for tuning into another episode here. Uh, wherever you were listening, if you're a, a fan of the show, go ahead and hit that, you know, that five star, that subscribe, that like, whatever, whatever the action item is on the platform you're on. But it is a video podcast. So if you want to join us over at YouTube at youtube.com forward slash at shoe podcast or on Spotify, we have the video there as well. You can see us, the visuals we have today, the guests we have for today, but also Tanner's mm-hmm. shirt that he has on today that he's talking about here, which you see the logo, you see what it is. There's going to, um, uh, mm-hmm. There's going to be a little bit more, a little bit more talk about that in next week's episode. I'll say right now, silence, which next week's episode is from this past weekend where we were at the voodoo vintage flea market in Lafayette. Shout out once again, voodoo vintage for having us out there. And anyone who came on the show, we had a real fun time. That was a great time. Bad time for you. That was fantastic. I (laughs) yawned. Bad, real bad time to get thrown over. It was great. I loved the sit down and then it was great to go walk around to the booths, meet a lot of the people there, mm-hmm. uh, do some kind of like real short form, see what was into it. It was a great day. Beautiful yeah. day. Ton of vendors out there. Ton of people out there. Um, and then, yeah, once once one person sat down, it just kind of everybody really waterfalled in. It was a lot of fun. It was great. Yeah. yeah. So. From last week, this past weekend, looking at the vintage, what's in the past to this week, why you're here today, looking forward to the sneakers coming out this month, everything you need to know about the sneakers releasing in April, um, all cools, no fools. And we have with us today a favorite return guest of ours. Oh, yeah. You know him. You love him. He's here to hold us accountable about all of the performance basketball footwear coming out this month. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to the show. The one, the only. Alfred Banks, thank you for being here. Wow. What's up, oh, man? How are you doing? Not. I'm good, man. Um, again, as I, I'm so honored to even know you guys. I love the podcast. I'm not just saying that because I'm looking at you. I really do like the podcast. I like what you guys do. I hate that you ignore performance uh, <laughs> shoes, but we'll, 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 you know, we'll be a little bit more accountable today, and uh, <laughs> I'll hold you guys up against the wall about it, so it's fine. But That's all it is. You accountability man yeah thank you so much for coming on the show i know we've been talking about it it's probably been a couple of months now while uh you reached out to us said that you wanted to come back on it took us a minute to kind of get our our technology side up on you know having a virtual guest join us here but we're really excited for you to join us today talk about the shoes coming out and the performance basketball footwear that you know you give us the credibility on for sure man no doubt so what's been up with you man man just a lot of touring lately working on music yeah, running around. Uh, so currently, I'm on the cover of Offbeat Magazine with my friend Albert, the group we're in, Sass Kicks Ass. So that's mm-hmm. fun. Um, we got a new song dropping March 31st called uh, Arctic. Super dope about that. I just put out a solo record called Forever. That's out everywhere. So, you know, music, shows, all kinds of stuff, making history one day at a time. You know what I mean? Awesome, man. Yeah, we'll have. Links to your social, sex, kicks, app, everything you need to know in the description of this episode down below. This episode will be releasing, I think, the day before that single comes out. So can't wait to check it out, man. How are you feeling about where sneakers are lately? Are you keeping up with a lot of the releases that are coming out, or is it just kind of whatever you see? Whatever I see, if I'm yeah. being honest. Like, uh, there's only a few times I'm really tapped into something, um, you know, I just saw that Clot has a new shoe that they're doing. I was like, yeah. Oh. Um, I saw like this. This uh, I, I'm not familiar with their name, with their uh, with their brand, but this designer of the Jordan Three coming out. And the three I think ridiculous. I think Nina Chanel. I think I just opened up Sneaker News and it was on the front page, which was the first I saw of it as well. So yeah, it looks hmm. it looks crazy. We'll have a little look at that probably before we jump in here. But mostly just like stuff like that. You know, I follow a couple of accounts on Instagram and stuff and. 
you know, the, the Air Max, that Volt, I wanted that, couldn't get it, uh, you know, but stuff like that. So I'm kind of just what I see. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Awesome. Let's go ahead then. And that's a good point. We can switch over to this view over here. So Tanner, I don't know if you got a chance to see these yet. Uh, I've literally only seen the thumbnail because I pulled up Seeker News right before we hopped on the call. So again, for anyone who's listening, this is going to be a very visuals heavy episode. Would recommend watching the video if you get a chance. If you're driving, you know, maybe not right now. It's probably not the time for you. But uh, we're just going to go through the Sneaker News calendar for April and see what catches our eye and talk about it. But first up, yeah, I did selfishly want to look at these a little bit more in depth. So Nina Chanel, she just did, if y'all remember, it was either last year or year before the Jordan twos um, that looked like very like what I call like smoothed out. And the box had like that caricature Michael Jordan on it. She did uh, oh. a Jordan two low that was red. And I think a Jordan two high that had green on it. But this take on the three looks so nice. That's ridiculous, man. Yeah. Ooh, hold on now. I know. So That's- the heel tabs can't really tell what's going oh is it just we just got oh, the one okay. picture for right now yeah i guess it's very it's early leagues right. but man the materials on it and i love that like that sail colorway but it's like a little bit darker than that as well this is, yeah. i feel like threes are one of those silhouettes where it's like outside of like black cement white cement and maybe something like the fire red and how you feel the i'm i'm in year threes but like other than that i feel like it's hard to like do something new on the three and have it land really well have there been any threes lately that y'all can think of that kind of like break out of that mentality? Like the craft ivories earlier this year, it was good, but I don't think it's going to be one that we talk about in like years from now. That craft ivory, it was good in theory. I like the jump man, Nike mm-hmm. at the back with the clear, whatever. It was cool, but like, ah, I'm good. Like yeah. at this point for me, Jordan, like if it ain't already in my closet, I don't really want it, dog. Like I ain't yeah. going to have it. Right here? <laughs> this is tough. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, we were saying kind of the same thing with Cody when we talked to him that like it feels like Jordan brand lately has kind of like cooled down and a lot of it is that like if you've already got a decent collection of it there hasn't been too much lately that feels like I need this and I got to add it but this one is one of those ones that I'm like oh this is pretty different from most of what anyone's going to have in their collection already especially by the way of Jordan 3s yeah. green that's going to really be wrong with green though you know yeah I mean? like, uh-uh. uh, this this with a when the masters, you know what I mean? Mm. This gonna, this gonna, this gonna go, this gonna go crazy. I love that, like you said, like that sail, but it's kind of like it's got like that clay. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like the rope laces, but it's like a tighter, uh, like rope lace that it yeah. has to it. It's not like a big chunky uh, one. Yeah, exactly. So just on material alone, it's really nice. Um, I do think that the clay s that oh. they have to it does really well with the green. Uh, and I, I feel like Jordan is one of those where they rely so heavy on the retros mm-hmm. that anything that isn't a retro, I don't really think people have the um, the drive for outside of like a collab. But then yeah. it may just be I'm only really into the shoe because either a the collab or the price tag that comes with the collab in that resale aspect. Um, but this is different. Like this just is a is a a different shoe. This is you gotta. This is a confident person wearing now, this shoe. Let me ask y'all real quick because I think I already know where Tanner stands on this, Alfred. When it comes to Jordan threes, Jordan fours, how do we feel about the back tab Nike Air versus Jumpman logo on it? Do you have a a preference or no opinion? Yeah. As long as the shoe, because I remember those uh those uh the bread fours that came out like 2012, that the more thin one, yeah, the jump back, I bust those until they went away. You know what yeah. I mean? Um, mm-hmm. I care about that. Uh, you know, I know there's some purists. I got my man Lyric Kill. He's a purist to the sense of like if they don't say Nike Air, he only wear them. Mm-hmm. Um, I had to do the right thing. Threes. I got a jump man on the back. I don't care about that. Like as long as, as long as the shoe is lit. Like I got a pair of 2011 black cements in there in mm-hmm. in here. If it looks good, it looks good to you. If it looks good, if it looks good. I feel All like right. they got like a, a small, like trying to appeal to both on this one here. Cause like you look at that back tab, you can see it's Nike Air big, right? But like mm-hmm. little orange jump man. It looks like they're trying to like uh-huh. appeal to both crowds here. <laughs> anyway, a little caution sign right there. <laughs> a little caution sign. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll keep an eye out for those. But yeah, let's go ahead and start looking at April Hid. 
Did you want to talk about these ACGs, these tour mids? Yeah, those joints are fire. I, I know. You know, it's funny. Like those are the type of shoes that look really good on websites. <laughs> um, and I had a pair. Um, hmm. the ones I can't do like purple and orange. Like yeah, I said they came out like three or whatever. They look so cool, and and I love old shoes. I love shoes that are like gonna fall apart in like three days, you know. Yeah. And I bought them, and I put them on. And I was like, oh, these look better on the show. <laughs> oh no. Um, <laughs> I tried to put them on with a fit, and it was just like, oh no, baby, this not it's not working. So <laughs> they look great right there. You know what I mean? That colorway is in ridiculous. Wow. Yeah. I can't do nothing with them though. They gonna look crazy on my foot. Get them in hand. You're like, mm, maybe the mood board should have stayed a mood board on this one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it just looks really cool when you put them on. It's like, oh, I right. facts. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like so. though, if there is anyone that can pull off like these loud and bright and vibrant colors, it is you though. Like I see a lot of the the fits you get off on a lot of the footwear you wear, and I'm like, I could never, but like Alfred pulls it all together, you know? No, like, I, and that's one thing I notice about you guys. I know like one of y'all is like more. Uh, more chill, low key, and the other is more, or at least would wear something more brighter. Yeah. I'm like really in the middle. There's some days, like like <clears throat> right now, I'm wearing the Stussies, right? Chill. This is me. Looking. Yeah, I'm not gonna put the orange laces in here. Like, why would I do that? Mm-hmm. Uh, I also just bought some Romeros that are like the mm-hmm. um, I, I don't know the color, but they're like kind of white and kind of gray. But then okay. I got like some hot punch Air Max 95s. They're like. Yeah pink and vibrant so like i'm in the middle i would definitely wear this shoe if it was on another model i would wear this colorway if it was on another model okay gotcha yeah i feel like they just did this colorway recently on a put the counter on the screen on the undefeated nike uh the yeah. acg uh not the acg the air terra humara they just did that they call that it's either like the this teal or this pink is like minta but yeah they just did that whole colorway so it, it does feel like maybe this is getting <clears throat> a little bit more of a resurgence right now can I ask you guys a question? Always. <laughs> what if we said no? What if we said no? It's like, bro, no you. questions. No questions. Go ahead. They're like Minta and stuff. Sometimes when I look at these boxes, I mm-hmm. see names of colors that I've never seen before. Are these names that they just make up? Or are these actual names of colors? I don't know. That's a great question. In, in the case of Minta specifically, that's one where they got me on it as well. Uh, but I feel like in, in, that's like a really hot topic right now with the military blues or the industrial blues that are coming out again this year. (laughs) Have you heard like that whole controversy that like whatever the military blue retro is Nike's calling the official colorway industrial blue. And it's like, why? I don't know. Uh, But yeah, there, there, there's a lot of the time there's like colors that I'm like, you know, okay, what, what is this that we have here? And they'll be like, Oh, that's alabaster. I'm like, that's crazy because it looks white to me. You know, I, I look at it, I'm like, that just looks like cream at the most. But yeah, we're going to call that alabaster. It's on top of terracotta. Did you mean brown? Yeah. I think you <laughs> might have meant brown by that. Yeah. That's funny as hell. A lot of the colorways lately, I feel like they're just, you know, it's kind of like when you when you have the school essay and you have like a minimum word count, you're like, we got to hit that word count. Big facts. You got to do what you got to do. Yeah, I I just want to know how you got a waterproof material with a fuzzy material. I, 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 how you got the just, suede to be how, like? How did that work? I was just thinking that, dog. you know. But that's ACG. That's you know? that's the scientists over at ACG. What can't they do? Yeah. Well, good colorways. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the only thing they can't do the the only Achilles heel a good colorway. A good um, colorway on the mid. Moving through April, this is where Alfred's going to hold our feet to the fire here. Do you want to talk about either the Zoom Freak 5 or the Harden Volume 8s? So, like, I actually have played ball in the Zooms. And, okay. like, work. they're super dope. I like that colorway. Um, this like one's cool. Grandmama. Or, <laughs> not, not Grandmama. Uh, uh, Aunt Pearl. Why did I say Grandma? That okay. Pearl. <laughs> I, like mm-hmm. that, that, it, I thought you were channeling, like, the Grandma's couch, like, floral pattern there. But, yeah, the Aunt Pearl. I, I was... I said Grandma and I was thinking Larry Johnson, which has nothing to do with this shoe. I don't even know. Uh, but nah, this um, I really like pink. I like floral on basketball shoes because mm-hmm. it's kind of like the antithesis of what the yeah. shoe should look like for what mm-hmm. they do. You know, I think that that, that sh- I don't like this model. Okay, right? I don't. I think the first Greek was really a uh, freak. Sorry, was really really dope. Mm-hmm. I'm not really rocking with some of the later models in, in his mind. He's starting to look a little LeBron to me at this mm, point. Okay. Um, mm, good point. I do like that color. I think that colorway is icy as hell. 
So is it more of like the aesthetic and shape of the shoe now that you don't like as much, or is it like performance wise, like actually playing in it? The performance is good. The check placement is just so weird to me. It's just so big for this. Like the model, even if it's a size 16, the, the shoe is like small. It doesn't call for something so big. Yeah. Size. I'm not a fan of that. Um, yeah. I like the color in which they did this thing I don't like. Um, mm-hmm. but I just don't like the, the shoe itself. The color is fire. I do like that color combo together. It kind of reminds me of... Uh, Tanner, what are the, is it the Janowski cherry blossoms that you have or had, or do you have the oh, dunks? Yeah. But the, I had the, I had the Janowski's. Yeah. Yeah. That cherry blossom kind of like floral pattern on it. I think Alfred, to your point, like, it's really cool to see like a light, like floral pattern on like a performance shoe, you know? Yeah, it is always great. I, and I think kind of like what, like Alfred said with, with the check, the hard thing with me with like performance shoes is it's obviously like a, more going to be like a PE type thing. Um, so it's like, Hey, this shoe made on a size 17, 16 is going to look way different mm. than someone who's going to buy like a 10 proportional. Uh, yeah. yeah, exactly. Because it's like, you see it on, you know, like a player who has a larger shoe and you're like, Oh, okay. The, all this, these design elements, they do kind of work, but then, I would imagine it would like that giant swoosh would just eat up an entire like size nine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, literally, and that would just throw you off. Check. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it would just be a big old check. Like what was going on? Here? Just yeah. toe to heel, all swoosh. But then you got the Hardens, which I'm like, okay, they just said, screw it, the whole shoe is the Hardens. Hardens are it. looking good. I feel like e- even again, not being a big performance basketball sneaker guy i feel like i haven't really loved a lot of what i've seen from harden lately in terms of footwear this is the first one in a while i'm like i could kind of see getting behind this you know yeah, i'm looking at that uh white party what you mean white party? why could it be a black <laughs> that's kind of what i was thinking too Adidas, like, hey hey, hey bro, you be a black no, <laughs> uh nah i love dude i this <laughs> this model you're gonna get a lot of uh jokes that teeter totter one is in it <laughs> Fair warning. Uh, nothing crazy, but just enough. Um, nah, this model here, dude, is like one of the best Adidas models that have come out in a long time. Uh, yeah. This Anthony Edward joint, yo, this joint is insanity. I yeah. love this oh, shoe. Yeah. Every single colorway, even if I don't like the colorway, I like the model so much, I like the colorway. This shoe mm-hmm. is ridiculous. And we got the, oh, sneaker news. Get your, <laughs> step your game up, sneaker news. Every now and then this yeah. happens. You click on one, you're like some intern. I would never wear a black and green shoe, but that model is so nuts. I would just wear them. You know? What I mean? Yeah, yeah. They they definitely really. I I think the eight they really found their stride, mm-hmm. um, with Harden. So interesting to see. I think the probably getting close to like the tail end of Harden's NBA career, but I feel like his sneaker career is really going to. I like where they're going right now. Um, and I'm sure he is also looking at that. I mean, it's a great, like he said, it's a great silhouette. Uh, the eight, I think will go down as probably his best, if not number two, um, of silhouettes. And it is one of the things where Ron and I, when we're doing these, we will preface it, be like, we are not into performer sneakers. And then we'll come across like the hard eight and be like, this Hold is pretty now. dang good. Hold up now. Yeah. You know, it's gotta this be good if it's good. breaking through to us. Yeah. I've noticed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's see also in april the adidas sl72 rs i like this red colorway this is kind of like vintage looking um the new balance warped runner look at that look at that soul at five foot ten kings you're trying to hit the six foot mark this is probably hey, for you you're gonna get there uh, you're gonna not, get there not my type of silhouette though clot and crocs i just gotta what? see what they did oh I mean, this I, is I, I'm in need of another pair. So look at these, these spooky. Look at these little accessories that go on the horns that go on these. Yo, uh, did, uh, got the camo. You can miss me with that. I'm good. There's no way TSA lets you through. I don't think you make it through TSA with these on. They, they're putting a ruler to those, uh, those little bat wings right there to the mm-hmm. bat wings. Spirit charges you another $50 to bring these on. board. Uh, hey, 100%. You know, why are you flying spirit? <laughs> Times are tough, man. Times are tough. We're looking for a sponsor, but in the meantime, times are tough. Ryan's got to get his flight hours one way or another. 
bought my first pair of Crocs. Well, no, I did. I didn't buy them. I, I, I got them for free. Super okay. Blessed. The Salehi Burnberry joints. Um, oh, the pair. one. I ain't gonna lie, dog. I've never owned a pair of Crocs. I don't like Crocs. Not yep. a fan of them. But I got them, and I was like, you know what, man? Why not put them on? I was like, oh, they're cool. They're cool. Um, I wore them in public. I took a chance. I wore them in public, and I just felt weird. So now mm. they're gonna sit in my living room forever. But I, they're cool. They're comfortable. You know. When I tell you, I was exactly in your position a year ago, where I was like, I don't really mess with Crocs that much. But like, I'm a big Salehi fan to begin with, and I do like what he's done with Crocs. So I've got two pairs now. I don't wear them out as much as I probably did when I first got them, but I think I wouldn't have too much issue with it because I think Salehi Crocs kind of tote that line between just, you know, like average Crocs outlet Crocs and like sneaker heads, you know, where it's like it's kind of like the middle ground of like you could wear those and people would kind of be down with it. Tanner, though, I know Tanner's been a Crocs and an unapolog- unapologetic oh, yeah. Crocs enthusiast day one. He's never okay. he's never felt remorse for it. Two pairs, two different pairs at my feet right now. That that comfort and convenience is a slippery slope. I'll tell you right now, though. I'm I'm telling you, you, you were like, oh, let me just go to CVS real quick. Let me just head to let me just head to Target real quick. Oh, I'm just going on a coffee run real quick. I'm not gonna get out the car. Man, next thing you know, do I want to bend down and tie some laces? No, I don't. I got a lot, man. Getting those shoes is the moment I realized that I might be a high beast now. Like all I need now is like a supreme flannel, fear god, like snap or some shorts or something. And yeah. I'm oh yeah. On the train, and I'm ashamed of myself, but also very excited for new beginnings. So hey, there you go, and that's all we can ask for. Speaking <laughs> of, yeah, I mean, oh, hey, of, fear god. How, yeah. How have you been feeling about the fear of God Adidas collections that have been coming out? Admittedly, these colorways, not my thing. Yeah, those are boo boo. I'm not yeah. rocking with them. I did but, see that, that right there. The, yeah. The, the Secret is, again, what is this bait and switch where I click on it and yeah. you take me to some completely other sneaker? But yeah, can we? Um, okay, we can just do this. Yeah. I like, I think I like this more than, I think they're just calling it now the fear of God one, whatever. Oh. Whatever this silhouette is right here. Um, yeah. That's the basketball one, maybe. Huh? Yeah, that's okay, their yeah, main performance yeah. one. So I think this is meant to be more lifestyle wear, but like mm-hmm. this takes me back to like 2016, oh, you know, what? where it's like, you know, Yeezy 750 highs in that first colorway where it's like, oh, yeah. And, and I think these would have destroyed at that time. And I, for me personally, right, this is something that I still have some interest in, but I wonder, I don't know how much this is like fashionable right now that you would see a ton of people wearing these. Not that that makes it a good or bad shoe, you know? Man, that soul is just so dope. Like he's soul. that's his signature. I feel, I mean, aside from like this colorway and like this color palette, that like thick, smooth soul that he did on mm-hmm. all the Nike stuff as well is that's like true. he's definitely put his touch on it. This I think so far has been my favorite of the Fear of God and Adidas uh collaboration or collection that we've gotten so far. Nope, this one as well. I'm not Sneaker news. Runners. Yeah. Runners I like too. yeah. This runner's kind of cool. I like that that uh, like that shark tooth sole on it. I'm not mad. I definitely rocked the rivalry way before I rocked this, but I'm not mad at that. Mm-hmm. I think Tanner, it's good. Like I said, I, I yeah, think it's if you don't have an Adidas silhouette that fits this, I think this is like a great of like, oh, I've got a great one, and I've got that like hype feeling to it. I've got a collab tied to it, like mm-hmm. a big name. Um, so like a good, like, oh, let me get this. I like the look of it. I like this style. I agree. I don't know how much of the, like, I feel like the fear of God really took off, especially with the essentials with like the athleisure, like really dressing up, like having like high end sweatpants. Um, and that's kind of what like all of these silhouettes from the Adidas are still giving is like this with a high end sweatpant type thing may look elevated athleisure to. wear there you go okay there you go okay like I, I don't know what these maybe maybe the the los angeles runners but i don't know about like the the high tops of like a pair of jeans mm, okay that would be the interesting the interesting thing to see is how this silhouette is styled the rivalry is just incredibly hard to style i yeah. got 
three pairs. I have the uh, the Keith Haring ones that came out like 2018. Like mm-hmm. they did the OG like Knicks colorway, but it's yeah. just squigglies all over. And then I have a pair of like white and like aquamarine. Mm. And I, have another, I can't remember what they are. But the rivalry is so hard to style because that shoe is so damn tall. You know yeah. What I mean? And uh, you can't really wear skinnies with it because the shoe looks bulky. Yeah. You have big enough to cover that shoe. You're wearing like a size 58 or something. Um, and I just started kind of getting into this Carhartt kind of vibe. Like, oh, okay, you know, welcome to it. You know, again, all I need is my Supreme flannel, and I'm good to. <laughs> um, but I think that's the only pant that could even go over something like that if you don't wear the sweat kind of vibe. Because I've been doing the sweats too, mm-hmm. but like, I like a nice jean, like a big pant, and I think that would go good. But then you would cover up the whole shoe, and then what's the point of that? I, f- I run into the same thing with like the Fear of God ones that he did with Nike, where it's like you know that thing is. That thing is tall, so it's like jeans are out automatically because I don't want jeans that stack from my shin to my knee, all the fabric right there, you know? So it's like I only can wear them with cargos, but then, yeah, to your point, it's like then you just see, like, the toe of the shoe. So it's it's tough. you got to find the right pants to go with it. All right, let's see what else we got in April here. Where's that subreddit? What? A subreddit of, like, what, this is the paint you wear with this shoe. I bet yeah. there's... Yeah, you know what I mean? There's probably an R pants and like R pants and R sneakers could have a crossover there. I would imagine, but like, and they give you like this crazy, they don't even tell you the name brand. It's just the like product code of the jeans and then the product code of the sneakers. Okay. Gotta be it. R Gotta pants, it. you know, subs. If you're listening, go ahead and let us know in the comments down below. How do you guys talk? Appreciate uh, it. Air Max 95 Atlanta running shoes. It's Anthony Edwards. Think of that Atlanta shoe. What's that? Did who that? So that's what I <laughs> think. Thank you. Thank you. So These colors hard. don't run. Right. That see that I haven't seen a bad colorway of that damn shoe, man. Dumb. Yeah. This sort oh, of salmon dude. colorway here. Did you see the dunk he did the other night? No. Yes. I didn't. Dude, that dunk of the year. Bro, that makes me want to go buy those shoes even more, bro. Yo, was, yeah, no. Oof. Did not have to do that to that man. Oh man, man, I got a family. I got a family. Not anymore. <laughs> Not, like, anymore. <laughs> Not anymore. Not anymore. That, man, That's that crazy. man had a family. <laughs> past well, tense. Family always. Yeah. I see uh, just even like this, like the the laces. Yes, I was down to, like how cool is that? Like yeah. Oh, those yeah, they're, the lace holes like right at the bottom yeah. of it there where they get skinny. Exactly, but again. they're so tight and then like Interesting. the X, but they're what so like just a you see that and you're like man i just feel like my foot like i'd be locked in Facts, man. i ain't gonna lie i come from that era of wearing the kds with the cargo the uh, camel cargo in 2024 you're the I man would have fit, bro. i would i would try to pull that off with the like, nike I, elite socks yeah you know what i mean i feel like i'm in my i got my swag now yeah you know, i got a name for myself i'm gonna pull it off what you gonna tell me yeah man and i'm gonna dunk hey. on you up off stage what you talking about <laughs> <laughs> Oof! yeah look at him crying already he hadn't tough. even dunked it yet he crying tough yeah that's at tough. a certain point just get out the lane yeah, you know? just, off the court the side, man. yeah just let that's that man have it the reebok float zig i am not familiar with this silhouette i, I thought you said float sig <laughs> It's like yo, Reebok knows their market, dude. They, <laughs> they ain't know. We got the, the Reebok slims coming up real quick. <laughs> Your dad chain smoke. We got you. <laughs> if Creed was on that, a twenty four seven loop in your house that. growing up, this shoe might be for you. <laughs> yeah, we got you. We got you, Puma. What in the? But now Puma is just so in the mellow. I'm good. If it ain't the uh the Isaiah Thomas Puma that high mm. or like that zig the, the trigonomic one with the little disc in the middle, the Puma disc. I'm good, B. No Pumas for me, man. Interesting. I'd say what anime or cartoon uh, network um, is this from? This one's <laughs> saying uh, uh clear tribute to the Los Angeles Sparks, the WNBA squad from LaMelo's hometown, apparently. Cool. So there you have it. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, like, all right. Cool. Puma, but why? But why not? Well, why not the actual Sparks team? All right. Could- also in April. Also in April, we got uh the book one. How do you feel about the book one? 
this is another one of those ones that I think kind of like the Anthony Edwards shoe is like breaking out of just performance and getting a little bit more into that everyday wear. At least Nike would hope so. I don't, I don't mm. hate the shape of this silhouette, but it also doesn't really excite me. You know, like it's, that is it's a kinda, fat it's, Roshi. That's what it's kind of, <laughs> it's kind of clean. It's a, okay. it's a, it's a, uh, it's a fat Tuesday Roshi right there. It just, you know, it's getting ready for 40 days. But, fat tu- Yo, come on, uh, man. What are you doing? That's funny. You know, we give Nike ideas for free all the time on here, you know? Yeah. yeah. Wait. They're, all, they're, 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 they're tuned in. Yeah. I'm looking at that book, right? Yeah. Um, is it just me or that look like the staple dunk? Which one right here? Yeah. It's giving I, staple, right? The, the color oh, palette. Okay. Not, a little more, a little more orange on the bottom of the paint. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Hair so, on like, the upper? That screenshot. It would look really yeah. not this one, though. not this good one. No, no, oh, the other color, this one. Oh, so from that image, that angle right there it looks no, no, not that one, not that one, the one you on. Okay, just, gotcha. Angle, but just this one. Wow, yeah. Mm. Okay, I see it. Yeah, I mean, I do. It, it, it is on the uppers. Wow, all the alligator, snake. What's what's right there? Crocodile on the toe. Yeah. Snake where the where the swoosh is. What, this is, what is oh that's that kind of looks like a snake pattern, but I mean look at the fur on the ankle opening. This is what they were talking about when they said boots with the fur. This was it. This is the foreshadowing of what was coming. I mean, calling it chapter one though is kind of you know that's I, I, I do of like the book that. one. Yeah. That well, was I mean, you know, you got chapter one so board that, meeting know. someone threw that idea out. You could tell someone threw so his last name's book, right? You like you could tell that's just like low hanging fruit. Yeah, yeah. oh for sure. But you know, know, that's not bad. Job for like three years, so you gotta. You know I mean? <laughs> yeah, man. This one's is it secured. Yeah, this one's exotic animal prints and patterns. The other one, I think, is inspired by his dog. If I'm. Yeah, I saw that. I read about that. Or was it a different one of these? That shoe looks it's like I'm, it, it looks like a Nike Court Force. Like I'm good. It's mm. got it's got Court Force vibes to it. And if I want that, it's like if a Court Force and the uh, G Knight or Air Force One came together. Yeah, and I'm. Good. I'll just get a court have, force. So I'll get a, you know, we have you know, all you know. these things already. Yeah. yeah I, have, I have all these things. Now, real quick, not to put you on the spot, but Tanner, from your past life as a Dungeons and Dragons enthusiast here, what can you tell us about this Converse collaboration? Is this true to brand? Uh, unfortunately, here's the thing that uh, I don't know what's happening with like that white pair. Mm-hmm. Okay. The, the, the black pair it, you know, that's that's definitely for your animal enthusiast. You know what I mean? Okay. If you're a furry, if you've got a foxtail uh, keychain, you're definitely hitting that up. If you are and you're listening to our show, please stop right now. All right. Yeah. yeah. Actually, no shaming. Uh, we'll take you. Uh, all I know is that is going to fly off the shelves in Hot Topic for sure. For Ooh. sure. Hot Topic going to go crazy yep. with that one. Yep. This is, this is about to go up. <laughs> Yo, look, it's it's going to get it's going to get nasty. Hold on, now that this warlock whole, though. It's kind of this black looking. and green one looks like a uh, like a dropkick Murphy's shoe. Like this looks like St. Patty's Day. Me and the boys are out doing oh. Irish car bombs. This is hey, <laughs> Look at that <laughs> wizard on the Shadow side. Shadow wizard money gang right there. Now I saw this collab a couple weeks ago, uh, or about a week ago. I think on Sneaker News. And being that I don't know anything about. Dungeons and Dragons, I just kind of looked at the shoe for what it looks like. And yeah. I don't like Chucks. Mm-hmm. I don't like I don't like the Chuck that just looks like a regular Chuck. That's just like flat bottom Chuck. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's it. I like like I, I like nicer Chucks. You know what yeah. I mean? Like so. Charles, if you will. Yeah. <laughs> that's the best joke I've ever made on this show. I'm gonna take it. Uh, I like it. Uh, there's more from yeah, the Clot and Adidas collaboration there. They are doing some wild stuff this year. I uh, like it. Where's Tyler? (laughs) This one. That is mean right there. I like it. I don't know if I wear it, but I like it. You're one misstep away on a curve from a a busted ankle. That's (laughs) for for sure. That soul is. (laughs) (laughs) Eating mad ground. Yeah. 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 I just. It looks squeaky. This picture this, is squeaky. This looks like it makes the hey, SpongeBob yo, walking sound effect. Like that. Yeah. yeah. Right, right, right. What, I, that's, like, what's the break in time on this show? That's what I need to know. I just, six I, years. <laughs> six like years. Doc Martin. Like Adidas yeah. Doc. <laughs> you gotta soak him in water. 
the more I look at it, the more I'm just like, what occasion would I wear these to? Right. You know, like this looks like I would wear them to Easter if I didn't want to talk to my cousins. Like if I wanted no one to bother me mm-hmm. on Easter day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're going to a high end art show. Okay. For sure. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. A gala. That's really. That's, that's how, you know, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. You're, you're carrying a briefcase more for fashion. Fashion. A hundred percent. Like nothing's in it. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> it's no <laughs> snacks. Uh, some slim gems or something in there but kd 17s kobe 8s kobe 4s how do you feel about them doing a lot of the kobe retros now uh i'm a little I'm a little salty about it you know like i you know i think we all can you know not, not to bring it to this but like you know uh previous to his uh you know unfortunate you know situation you know, if it wasn't like the Kobe ten or like maybe the the was it the six mm-hmm. or whatever, they would just sit on shelves, man. And I think like they're really like trying to capitalize. And I'm glad that you know Vanessa was able to like continue the relationship, but they're not even doing it justice. And no, nothing special about the releases. It's just kind of like they're here. They're releasing them the same way they did when he was alive. And mm-hmm. being fortunate circumstance i think they should like do something better like every release should just feel like a new episode of like mm. lost like when that came out you know what I'm saying? it should just be like Ooh. like Kobe. you know what i mean type yeah. vibe um so i'm I don't know. but i love that i remember the uh it looks kind of poison dart frog colorway if i'm not mistaken mm, okay so i'm not a fan of that model i like more than the six and yeah the, I, I I do think that I think a way to keep like Kobe's coming um, and have them feel special and like an homage would be, I feel like you have uh, like the big moments of his career, um, you know, but on a shoot, either a, the, you bring the silhouette out of the vault for you know whatever it may be from what you have or just be like hey we really want to push the kobe 8 but we're doing this very special story from either a big moment in his career or you know like career adjacent you know a personal life but still has like that basketball thing i think that would be a good way sometimes i feel like it's i kind of like what you said it's like they're just like here's a kobe and it just it does feel weird because they they may know that it's going to sell just because of kind of like what you said, just the unfortunate, you know, that tragedy that happened. So I would have loved to see just a, Hey, we're going to uh, really like immortalize this basketball moment and really pull from the vault, you know, uh, of those big moments in, in his career. I mean, cause you know, they had what three different statues um, that they had from big moments. So I think you could do, Nike could do something like that. And I think everyone would be happy. People who love Kobe and his sneakers would be like, this is great. I get more Kobe's and they're special. Um, And, you know, you still have that like, okay, this is more in honor of Kobe rather than just more of capitalizing off of his name. I will say that's that's a great point, man. Thank you for saying that. Um, That KD is incredible. Which one? The 17? That right there. Really? Yo, KD, bro, that yeah. man probably got two bad models in his entire run. This he had a crazy. This one's got so much of that, like, Air Max TN in it. Like, like you see oh, yeah. it on the cage on the side, and I think on the back as well. Uh, not as much, but that cage on the side is, yeah. Every dog. I don't know if I've ever, maybe, and I can't think of it. I don't know a bad KD, dog. Mm. It's just so good. Like, his designs, like, Man, wow, every single, everyone. The team is put together. Yeah, man, that that colorway is insanity, though. That, that This one I do like. That's clean. Yeah. Moving through April. These I like a lot. The Air Max one, the Jackie Robinsons. I like uh, these more than, what did the they Air do? Air Max Day? What was the last? No, well, definitely more than whatever we just did for Air Max Day. What was the last big Jackie Robinson shoe that we did? Was it an Air Max or was it a Dunk? No. They, the Dunk they did like a year or two ago. Yeah, I really well, like these. This is much better than that Dunk. Yeah, 
I like these a lot. And this is so like Shoot. super clean and wearable. Big bubble too. Come I'm about big to say bubble big too. bubble. The 42, the little lace dubre on the bottom there. These just like look premium, you know? I was about to say. That toe box is crazy too. Perforated. Oh, the swoosh. The, per- the perforated, yeah, you're right, on the toe. And then the swoosh, I'm trying to tell like what are the materials going on there? It looks kind of like embroidered almost. The little eyelets uh-huh. are gold Ooh. at the top there. Like yeah, I didn't even see that. That looks embroidered. Wow. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Yeah. That this is, is that is pretty premium right there. They're gonna be in sneaker shops for four hundred dollars, I'll tell you. <laughs> hey. You know, shops will definitely what, get the chance. What blows my mind though so much about like all the big bubble <laughs> releases that they all seem to come in this box. Like regardless yeah. of what the one is, like Tanner, the pair you got me for Christmas, the Chicago ones, this mm-hmm. box. Jackie Robinson's this box. And I'm like, you know you guys can make different boxes. Like I've seen you do it. Like <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. if the shit is the, the box. cheapest of, right. of the whole production. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Maybe they blew the budget on the shoe, but um, eh, these are so good looking. Yeah, that's now that that's a sneaker though. That's yeah. fine. Yeah, that's a good one. I'm gonna keep an eye out for those. Uh, more colorways again, though, of the Air Max DN. Less than a month after they launched, like eight on Air Max A. You know what this colorway reminds me of though? The Joe Fresh Goods collab he just did with New Balance, the Keisha colorway that was like blue with these light blue accents, and I know the timeline to make sneakers, right? It's too long for Nike to have seen that and then copy paste it yeah. on this, but it is unfortunate on their suspicious. part that you see this and you're like, it is suspicious. That's a better word of like, I feel like I just saw Joe do this. Uh, Alfred, how do you feel about the Air Max DN, this new silhouette that we got this year? I'm in the middle, man, I, I popped up to a store called Foster. Uh, yeah. Here. Shout out Foster. Foster and they just showed love recently. I was going to wear their hat, but I decided to wear a Boulevard etiquette. My own boy. But, um, I saw the, it's like the cream one. The yeah, cream yeah, yeah. I held them in my hand and I was like, yo, this might be the first Air Max in like five years that I think is really dope. Okay. But I don't ever want to wear them ever in my <laughs> life. I'm good. <laughs> Mood board. I mean? Mood board sneakers. They yeah. Like they look comfortable. Like, again, if I was blessed to get them for free or something, mm-hmm. all day I would. Just know that if you ever see me in this shoe, they were- <laughs> if you see this shoe, it showed up on the doorstep. <laughs> um, But I'm not, I don't hate them. I don't hate them. I like the bubble. My favorite part is the bubble, the the four joints in the back. The four, uh, yeah. I, love it. I think that's cool, right? Yeah. Um, they actually look good at the bottom of pants. I think they look really dope. They got that. Uh, was it Air Max ninety? Was it ninety eight? Uh, like kind of toe cap thing. Like in the that, front. Yeah, that one like piece. That. But then I wouldn't. I'm not wearing them joints. Like I'm good. Like yeah, I kind of dig the traction pattern on the bottom there. How it's got like those two treads mm-hmm. going down the back because it just looks like. A little bit more rugged and beefy but yeah in general i don't know something about it is just not speaking to me too much and maybe it's like i haven't seen the right colorway come out yet i do think whatever the um all day or all night i'm I'm guessing it's all day the colorway that politics had before anyone else that had that gradient upper i think the gradients on these mm-hmm. kind of help yeah. help it a little bit because otherwise because it's the whole upper of the shoe is just a one piece construction. When you just put one color on one solid piece, you're like, it just kind of looks like a blob with a bunch of little dots on top of it. So I think the the gradients and like kind of playing with the colors will help it a little bit. But also we talked about this last week, like they're starting us out with fatigue by like, here's 10 colorways right out the gate. And you're like, seventy-five colorways. like bro, chill, just pick the best two, just do two. But you said, Hey, yo, bro, chill. That's hilarious. (laughs) It just seems like, you know. Hey, yo, my man, calm down. <laughs> right, like, you got to chill. Nike, just pump the brakes for a no. minute here. Long. Um, Nike said, you're going to, no, you're going to want this. Trust yeah, it's, me. It's, you're it's like, be right? you like, I will say that it's the best new model in a while because the last like five years, all those. For models, Air Max days, mm-hmm. yeah, they're, that's what I think we said last week as well is that the past few years, whatever new model they've introduced has not stuck around past Air Max day. It, it's like a flash. Of a the pan. Yeah. I'd actually stick around a little bit. I would yeah. put money on this one sticking around. Right? I could see that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not winning. That's Move a great heart. On. Yeah. I know the flamingo pink. This great. This also like gives me the, okay. That's, um, kind of, okay, that's just a hard picture right there though. <laughs> with all of them. That's kind of, that's kind of tough. That's, that's that pretty is. tough. <laughs> but that's also pretty like, tough. why does his face kind of look like, they were like, are you ready? And he said, yeah. And then they snapped it like right before he was ready. Like he looks because like because he's, he's been good. doing this for too damn long. Right. He's That's- been holding them up. Um, it is funny though. We just said it with, uh, 
Nike maybe like, you know, the colorway looking very similar to Joe Fresh Goods because the just the timing of the bright pink and orange is like, oh, Powerpuff Dunks, you know, like mm. we just we just kind of got the bright pink shoe from Nike. Now, I mean, it's all, you know, they don't have a trademark on pink and orange, but just kind of funny to see it come so closely. Yeah. Uh, that shoe is dope, man. That color is like, see, like again, every color I've seen in that, like I wouldn't wear. That's not true because I have a shoe kind of similar, but yeah. like in a basketball shoe, I probably wouldn't get that crazy. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, but that just looks really good. Man. Yeah, I don't think I could pull off that pink and orange, but some of these other colorways here, you know, that white and gray, that black and white, or the blue and kind of cream, I think would look. Yeah, good. that blue and cream is my favorite. It's great. All of them are just great. More shocks. The jaw one, how do you feel about that one? For, for me, I think this silhouette a little more interesting than the book one. Like, I think the jaw one yep. is kind of like the book one crawled so the jaw one could walk, you know, like it seems like they kind of got it right where it's like, no, it's simple looking, but it's not like so plain and basic. Um, and Morant. they've been doing fun colorways on these. Uh, like the Morant is that that, that shoe is ridiculous ridiculous dog like mm-hmm. i have those i have the pink and blue ones <clears throat> okay and man uh great performance shoe i'm a little mad because the laces are wild long uh, oh are they <laughs> they're like super long like i have to double knot them when i put them on like why are these laces so long they look yeah. like my legs with laces it's crazy <laughs> uh but this shoe is so dope, and I think I haven't seen one colorway that's ill. I feel like the same way about this shoe that I feel about those Hardens. Yeah. What was, uh? we talked about it, I think at the end of last year, there was a colorway that was maybe like inspired by like, they were supposed to look frozen or something like that, where they were like purple with like like bright blue on them or oh, something. Oh, yeah. yeah. That yeah, was a great like colorway. We liked that one, I remember. Yeah. Was I like those Grizzly ones, too, that they look like the retro Grizzly jersey. Mm, okay. Oh turquoise or like that dark blue and had like claw marks on them I'm just okay curious. yeah i don't this like is, this colorway that much I, this is well, not I, my favorite it is cool, but it's like, eh. yeah well yeah. It, is it two or is it a mix match i think it's a mismatch oh that's mix mix matches oh yeah kinda, mismatched right there at the top can I, kinda, can I can i shout out my favorite mismatch shoe of all time it please um as you guys know i like terminators yes i have there in my in my uh my, my wall the Nike uh, Swagger. Yes. Uh, it, I feel like it is the best. I'm going to say it here. I hope a lot of people don't see it. Uh, well, wait, I hope a lot of people see it. I hope a lot of people don't hear it and steal my idea. Uh, but that Swagger colorway, mm-hmm. if I ever get a shoe, that's going to be my thing. I'm going to just, I'm going to do that. That Pay homage to that? So tough. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Shouts to T-Mac for being like the guy that, they like really did this. I give T Mac all the credit in the world for this. For that all star, I think it was like oh one, maybe two thousand two, where he did the mismatch shoe. Yeah, for the I, mismatch had a grip on sneaker community for a while there. I remember the day oh, I God, wore yeah. Bread Jordan one on, uh, not uh, yeah, Bread Jordan one on one, Royal Jordan one on the other, and it was like this is my personality now. I'm this guy, I guess you know. Hilarious, dude. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I had the, uh, the 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 Bugs Bunny eight and the Peapot eight. Okay, oh. yeah, yeah. yeah That's a combo. Love the Bucks Money 8. There's a picture of me somewhere looking like a complete idiot. <laughs> like, things happen, and we move on. You know what I mean? We hey, were all that year? Yeah. In the it moment. Was it was hard. Bro, it was lit. In, in the moment. Was you weren't hard. there. You weren't there. <laughs> you weren't there, bro. With my camel shorts. <laughs> my diamond t-shirt. It was lit. You can't diamond say anything. Supply. Uh, another colorway. This one, I like a little bit more, yeah. Tough. Throwback Tough. Grizzlies, yeah. Tough. We got any more pictures? He yeah. gets good colorways. He does. He does, he does for sure. I mean, like, it just... Back on the court, bro. Good Lord. Mm-hmm. Ooh, such, a, such a good... Even even on this, still having, like, those mixed match uh, elements. So, yeah. maybe Ja trying to tell us something, trying to trying to let everybody know to tap into the mis- mix match. It's coming, it's coming back. back. Know about it, man. I do love that detail on his that the swooshes not only wrap around on the back, but they come off the shoe on the back. Like uh, that's so like cool. the hold the shoe. Pull. Yeah. 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 I, know. So cool. I know. I I like, I don't know how, what do y'all feel about the, I like the tongue, how high it comes up from the rest of the shoe. Uh, you get it from a, yeah. yeah. So it comes up so much. You get, especially when you're looking from like the heel, 
yeah. forward. It is so much higher. Uh, I like it. I think it is such a uh, such a cool look. I like it because it's not the height of like Jordan three tongues or Jordan four tongues where I have to yeah. worry all day if I'm tucking my pants into my shoes. Cause it's like, if you're wearing them with jeans with cargo, like with cargoes, if they're big enough, you can trust that it's covering it. But with jeans, I'll be looking at it like, why am I tucked into my shoes right now? So I think this is like the right height to like, you could go either way with it if you wanted, but you don't have to like yeah. constantly fight it. Right. Yeah. My shoes, man. I only went with, you know, gym shorts, or whatever, but right. Uh, I feel this the way about this shoe the same way I feel about the Luca one. Mm. Um, I have a pair of white and blue. I think like the the first colorway they put out, I have those joints. They were gifted and, and super dope. Just like they 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 look good on the foot while playing ball. Um, I don't know. This is a really good shoe. I, I again, I may have yeah. seen one colorway I don't like, but for the most part, everything they drop on this model is just crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, and then rounding out April. Uh, the Celtic dunk again? It not. looks like there looks like there's been a lot of the SB dunks that like are uh what are they called like the orange label series that like they just keep running back the colorways, which is great, right? That's what people begged for yeah. for so long. Um, they, 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 uh, they should do this, and then Jordan should do the opposite. Uh, <laughs> put it on ice for a little bit, yeah. Like a year of no Jordan really uh, retros, yeah. Really cool. That'd be just crazy. Let us breathe, At least honestly. the one because yeah. good. Look- Heaven, they dropped 175 colorways of the Jordan one, and yeah. two of them like yeah. Well, like, I think that's the thing is that they're still living in like 2019 or 2020, right? Where it was like you could print money with Jordan ones, like any oh, colorway yeah. would fly, and we're just not there right now. And I feel like dunks have kind of gotten that way, which is like there's plenty of like fine colorways coming out. Like if you just want to get a pair to wear and like not have it be the craziest thing, that's the good thing is that they're doing a ton of them right now. This one specifically is the first one in a while that I think I've been interested and excited about because it looks like like this looks like a collaboration and like every now yeah. and then in line, they hit this stride where they're like, they went way above and beyond on the materials and the release, but this is inspired by like Hobby Lobby oh. or like Michaels or something like that. Like the live, laugh, love signs you find there, which is a very weird source of inspiration, but man, like Those look that's so a good. killer shoe. Yeah, that's a great one. You can't, I can't, do SBs are my, I love, SB. I don't wear, I'm so glad you guys have glossed over those regular dunks too, because I'm just not interested in them anymore. That's, that's yeah. it. SB dunks, yo, sign me up. That, the, the, the Chicago joint over there? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, if, when they come out, hopefully humility hold me down and I can, you know what I mean? Cause I Philly, if you're listening. You know what I mean? Shout out to my boy Philly. Yes, who sir. Apparently he has, he has a joint with Reebok. Uh, I've seen him working on something. Let, Alfred, Ooh, Alfred, you got more. Hey. You got more pull than us. Tell him to come on the show. Hey man, hey Tell him man. Come on the show. We've been trying to put the bug in his ear for years now to come on the show. Oh, for real, you want to come on the show? If if you can, if oh, you can well, put I that mean, word out, I bet. Say no more. All I'm right. not gonna say really? it's gonna be, but I'm gonna do my due diligence. No, but you know, he put the word out. But yeah, these. He's a man of mystery. Details on these. I, the souls remind me of uh, the Sean Cliver SB dogs from a mm-hmm. few years ago, like those winter themed ones oh, that wow. were like. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah right, we just right. talked about them. Yeah, I believe the insoles too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The little doily or whatever. Come on, it man. is oh, crazy. Could you imagine pulling up to your cross stitch uh, competition with these? <laughs> got, hey, yo, you killing them, B? Golly, Body cross stitches like me. We got, we got yeah. the bingo group on Wednesday. I'm showing up in these. Showing oh. love. Yeah, yeah. And then down in the bingo hall. Now these are crazy though. Uh, yeah, I like these. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> But yeah, you got uh, Chicago Dunks coming out. More Asics. Let's see what else. Well, oh, that new that New Balance right there. I saw those for the first time today. I like that model. The thousand. I, I need I, I need to see them in real life though, because I think yeah. they're just too chunky that they're not mm. gonna look good on my foot. But okay. From this picture, they look perfect. This is uh this is a great segue though, because one I wanted to talk about that wasn't on Sneaker News Calendar, who I think is leading the wave on bringing it back is Joe Fresh Goods. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, doing the New Balance Thousand collaboration, this older silhouette. Uh, I don't know if it's from the '80s or '90s, but I think Joe Fresh Goods is kind of leading the wave on bringing these back in two colorways here: this white and pink, and then there's oh the insoles I'm just seeing for the first time. Um, Jeez! And then this sort of black, and it's not like a orangish brown. The Popper? color, 
The, what is that color? Wait, that's something. That's a, the that's Skeptas. A the Skepta yeah, Air yeah, Maxes. Yeah, that's what, that's I, what I think yeah, of yeah. as soon as I see these. I'm like, oh, it looks like the Skepta Air Maxes, but I love it. Um, that shoe looks great, dude. Like I, I kind of like that white. This 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 colorway right here. Yeah. So I don't know. To your point, Alfred, I don't know if it's more of a colorway thing because like these definitely look chunkier than I think the Joe Fresh. So it might be a colorway and a material sort of thing. Yeah, it looks Mm. completely different on a material. That looks mesh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, It might be more of like bubble, uh, like that bubbly plastic. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Now, again, I want to see them in real life. I'm sure like sneaker politics will have them or something. Yeah. And I'm going to check them out. I want to see what that looks like. Because if that shoe looks like what my brain thinks it looks like, yeah. Yeah. I um. I mean, do, do we do a his and hers? I mean, like. Oh, that would be. This is, this is that kinda, would be hard. This is, is kind of looking like a his and hers. Right there. I mean, show some love. That's crazy. There That's you looking go. like a his and hers right here. Tell me, they're calling this pink mink that and black ice. And nailing the names here. God, who had who had that all pink fit in the two thousands? Was that uh, uh, Cam? Cam, Cam did. Yeah. Yeah. Killer. <laughs> could you imagine pulling out the flip phone putting those these on, on <laughs> making a call hello <laughs> let's see um round things out with jordan brand see what they have coming out in i think they just did a uh a shock drop a restock of the reimagined bread force today on sneakers or something like that yeah I had a sh- with them and I'm just like, yeah if you have bread fours, you don't need reimagined bread fours. Right you know, don't need them. it's yeah. just that simple. I think. I mean, um, to me, if you, if you don't have bread fours, you don't need to reimagine. <laughs> there's, like, there's like half of a dot. You just don't need them. I like those the the uh, the, the airship the green joints. Uh, the no, Amma Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pronouncing their, their brand name is always giving me a hard time. But that's oh, fair. Yeah. Uh, but I'm not. I love. I got two pairs of airships. I like them. I like the. I got the white and yellow joints. And I got yeah. the white, like gray ones with that, like kind of like new buck kind of check or furry. Okay, check. yeah, yeah. Um, yeah that's dope, man. I was looking to get a pair of airships last year. The Every Games, which were like yeah. pretty much a takedown of like the Nigel Sylvester one they did, but like that light blue, it looked so good on it. Uh, ended up not getting them, and it's whatever now. But my yeah. only issue with these, and like a lot of the time when Nike does these like aged or distressed midsoles, is like there's a way to make it that color without making it look like you like smeared your lunch across the shoe you know can you like just wipe it off i wish i wish i want to wipe it off like i don't want that on my shoe no i I like the i like the undertones of it like especially when you get the like that drop down that's not on the midsole like with the the rest of the shoe i like that i get what they're i I know what they're trying to do. I just don't like the, the way execution. they did it in regards to the midsole. Yeah. Yeah. Everything else about the shoe, I really like. These do except for the midsole. Yellow, bro. Like, just make it yellow. Yeah. Like you, you know what I'm saying? We've like, got the technology. Or just, just the stitching, how you have it do. Very, like, yeah. very, very subtle. Like, I'm, I would even be cool with that, but I don't but know. I would I wear that shoe, though, for sure. I would, I would bust that shit. It's a I cool think she's really cool. Yeah. That's probably the only Jordan that I can get busy with, right? Like, see those? Like, I'm not wearing that, man. Well, these I have to ask you about. The Tin well, Man the ones. Hey, yo. The Tin Man ones. Oh, wait, where'd it go? Baby. I need, wait, what are you at? What are you at? What are you at? We're going to find them. Hang on. We were, uh, I got to bring these up because we were messaging about these the other day. My gosh, how many shoes do they have coming out? Okay, hang Jordan, on. Come on, man. Hey, yo. <laughs> okay. Wait. We're going back. Get we're just, away. it's too small now. We're going to, we're going to find the way. Hang on. Uh, can we get just look how small the scroll bar is? I don't know if y'all can see it. Okay, hang on. It's we're gonna find them. Oh, see industrial blue. Get out of here. Controversial. <laughs> Military blues. Gosh darn it. Okay. Oh, if, yeah, them lightnings. The seventeens. I'm not spending four hundred dollars on them, <laughs> but I need them. All right. Wow. Uh, just the suitcase. Facts. Man, if this was not your sign that like we have enough Jordans coming out to hold everyone over, I can't I find the one I want to look at because of the thirty-seven <laughs> other ones that. This- also, I swear if they're not in this article, it's the funniest thing ever. I don't think they are, bro. There you have it. The this ten man, F- the ten okay. man ones. No. Now, look, I want those Jordans. I'm gonna they, get those Jordans. That, that is me of, that uh, one in those like rust pinkles that just came out like two weeks ago. Mm-hmm. 
it was like a like a like a kind of dark chocolate toe by, uh, uh uh with mud guard or whatever the case and then there's like pink in the back oh, they just dropped like two weeks ago or something those are really dope and this uh see those Jordan uh, Grand Hill little tank those Jordans <laughs> remind me of the cold pizza dunks that came out yeah, however long no, with that no. tin foil upper yeah. I, I like that shoe, man. I don't know why. I, I'm a still a big fan of like the monochromatic silver or gold. Like mm-hmm. they do a gold, I'm on it because it reminds me of the supers, the sky tops. Remember those? Yeah. The gold. Oh super. yes. Listen, That's why I, uh, look, you get those and you mix match with the trumpets. I was what? I was just gonna say Whoa. I got trumpet dunks. I don't need another gold shoe. I'm good. <laughs> I, I'm I don't have a gold shoe. Um, no, that's why you get this. You get this silver and you mix match one right, silver, right. one gold. I got a pair of silver Air Max ones from like '09, but I don't have. I want them Jays, man. I would. I'm. I'm gonna buy those Jays. You don't have trumpet dunks. You're saying? Nah, I slept. I slept on them, man. Literally, I overslept, and when I woke up, that whole it was it was done. Damn. No way Philly. <laughs> Philly, listen, Philly. We want you on our show, and we want Alfred to get a pair of trumpet dunks. These oh, are man, our demands. Love, be, These I are our demands, man. I'm good. Yeah. Those Travises are butt. <laughs> <laughs> In the show. In the show, All right, I was just about up. to say. Listen, <laughs> honestly, we're gonna call it that's, there because that's nothing's gonna beat that line right there. That's the punchline <laughs> of the show. Those travesties are butt. And here's the thing: the audience will not know what year you're talking about. Like, yeah, yeah. is this 2024? Is it 2022? Is it 2021? It could apply to any timeline. <laughs> Man, Alfred, thank you once again so much for coming on the show. And thank y'all for having me, man. You know, I get so much joy talking shoes man because you two guys are the only people in the past like year that i've been able to like talk to about shoes for extended periods of time and not get that weird okay look (laughs) anytime man we'll always be here Uh, for it can you let the people know real quick where they can find you what you have coming up um well first you can follow me at underdog central on all social media um Instagram, Twitter, the whole works. Also follow Sax Kicks Ave, S A X K I X A V E. We are currently the cover boys of Offbeat Magazine, which is really, really cool. Um, this is our very first cover together, so it's super tight. He's been on this cover a gazillion times. I've been on this cover. Well, I've never been on this cover, but together with first time. Um, I guess uh shoot, uh uh first quarter fest, big mm-hmm. festival here in New Orleans. I'm gonna be doing um Performing at Jazz Fest, which is really cool. My first solo set. Like what? Uh, so going to be the very first rapper to ever perform with the Louisiana Philharmonic Orchestra. We're doing that May Crazy. 8th. Crazy. Uh, which is amazing. Uh, just dropped a new single called Forever. It's available everywhere. Um, uh, March 31st, Sax Kicks Ab is dropping a new song called Arctic. Arctic. Um, April 27th, I'm dropping a new single. So for the next like five months, <laughs> I'm going to be dropping a song a month. Yeah. Uh, Got it. So to sum it all up, man, just go to underdogcentral.com uh, slash tour. You can check out some of the show dates. And uh, I got something really cool. Uh, Sax Kicks Ave has something really cool dropping with a really cool brand. Uh, a lot of people like to eat there. Very big national chain brand that hit us up to do something. I'll tell you guys about it after this. Okay. But, uh, yeah, bunch of stuff. Crazy. Crazy. Well, now, thank you again. Man. Now, you, now, you, now you have to go hit the follow button. To, if you want to know, how are you going to hit hear that cliffhanger and not want to know? Yes, I show love. You know I mean? So we will have uh, links to all of Alfred's socials and his website down in the description of this episode, and you can also find links to all of our socials down in the description or on our website shoepodcast.com online across all social media platforms at Shoe Podcast uh, everywhere except for where we're not. Basically, mm. well, if you made it this far. I got a we got to t- Tanner runs it. It's wild. Say no more, baby. Let's get it. I'm following y'all. <laughs> That's the you bump we need. Me? That's the bump we need. Yep. So thank you everyone for checking out another episode of shoe podcast. We'll be back next week with another one. Y'all got anything you want to leave the people with before we go? Low SPF daily sunscreen. Mm. Be uh, safe out there. Wear your shoes. Hmm. Landry, I feel like you got you. go follow go follow Alfred Banks. That's all I'm gonna put it. Shout out Alfred Banks because we didn't say it once on this episode. Shout out every Alfred time. Banks. All right, thanks everyone. We'll see you next week. Peace. <laughs>